Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got something a little different, I guess. I don't know. I, I seem to say that quite often. I guess it's really not that different because I'm sticking in my finger. So, today, I've got something to share with you. Um, I've, I'm not a gel polish person, per se, but I do have a small collection, and I'm looking to expand it especially when I can find a good deal because um, gel polishes are quite expensive I always think well how many indies could I have bought for that or how many you know markdown clearance polishes could I have gotten for that same price so I'm always on the lookout for a good deal I've ran across this deal on Amazon and it's model ones and this cute little box holds the top and base coat set I'm going to open it up real quick so you can see and they got these gorgeous wooden handles, and it's real wood. They're not super heavy, but they're beautiful. And they're labeled. You've got your top coat and your base coat. So that's a nice little set. Now, I got these on Amazon, and these were $15.99. And then a, a coupon popped up for $3.29 off of that. So that's a pretty good deal. I don't care how you slice it. So that is that. And then I bought these two lovelies. Yeah, uh-huh. I told you, I'm building, building my collection. So, we're going to um, just take a quick peek at the beautiful packaging. I would I would probably keep, I'm probably going to keep these in here. I don't know. This is the Blue Be Blood set. And it's seven colors. You've got Ultraviolet, Rose Gold, Bronze, Dreamy Silver, Mirandi Nude, Lucia Red, and Black Gold. And I am going to swatch these for you today. So I'm going to um, swatch them in the collections. So I've got the other collection also. And this is the Traveler collection. It's Brazil Red, Dreamy Silver again, which is also in this other kit. Um, Africa White, Mirandi Pink, Fiji Blue, Victoria Gold, and Cocoa Black. So... I just think that these are really, really nice. If you were, you know, these these are like gift worthy. Uh, they come packaged so beautifully. Look at that. And they've got a little card with directions for use and contact information and some notices. Um, I'm not going to go into all that because this is going to be a rather long video. But they pop out and they're in, I mean, it's velvet in the box and it they fit so snugly. It's just gorgeous. They do have the sides on the, on the on the side. They've got the name. I don't know that it really matches up with the color. And I'm going to show you a brush shot real quick. Let me get let me get some of this off of there so you can see. It's a very nice sized brush. Very. Let me get my hands so you can. Very nice, very nice brush. Not too fat, not too skinny. So I'm going to quit yakking. I am going to speed this video up because it is going to be a long one. I'm just saying. So, I'm going to start with the Traveler set first. Let me get everything together. Oh, and by the way, I've already got my little swatch wheel out, and I've got a little line where I'm supposed to start. I've applied base coat already to all of these little, you know, tips here. So, let's get ready to swatch. Oopsie, I forgot to mention the price on the polish sets. Okay, each set comes with seven polishes in it, and they're $29.99 a piece. And there was also a pop-up coupon on this set that took $6 off of the order. So that made these polishes, let me get my calculations out here. So that made these $3.43 a piece. I've paid more for polish at Walgreens. So to get gel polish for $3.43 a bottle blows me away. So, um, and I will be curing these in between. I will be using an LED light for 30 seconds and if you're using a UV light it's one minute. Now even if you don't get the coupons on these, these are still a great deal. Um, regular price that makes them $4.28 a bottle which is still awesome. And they are 10 milliliters. So, there you go. A little more specifics there. And I promise I am going to swatch them. Here we go. Alrighty, on with swatching the Traveler's Collection. This first one is um, showing up pretty true on camera. This one is Brazil Red. And it's more of a like burnt orangey red. It's very lovely though. And the formula is awesome. That is 
just one coat. It looks really good. Next, we have Dreamy Silver, and this is the one I ended up with two of. It's very beautiful, blingy polish. Excellent for accent nails. And that's just one coat also. They're just amazing on these one coats. We've got something going on with this swatch stick. Tip. This one is Africa White. And it's very opaque. Um, I do end up messing with it a little bit more, and I think I end up doing another coat. But I don't think it's a fault of the polish. I believe my base coat was a little wonky on the on the nail swatch. It might have got bumped before it got cured. And then we have Morendi Pink. This is just such a soft, beautiful color. I really do like that one. And see, I'm going back over the white again because I think something's wrong with the polish, but after I thought about it, I was like, no, I think I just got over there on that one side. I think I bumped it before I cured it. My bad. Next is that bright, crazy blue, and it's called Fiji Blue. I really like this one. It's kind of like a jelly. That's kind of funny since it's a gel polish. But, and it, this one could be a two to three coater, you know, depending on your application and everything. This is Victoria Gold. And it's just crazy pretty. I really do like this one. I mean, it's summer and I'm thinking neons and stuff, but that's still very attractive. And then next we have Coco Black. Another nice opaque polish. I like that these are thick, but they're not like goopy, sticky thick. They're just nice and thick. You know, not running all over the place. So I'm going to put another coat of the white one because I thought something was wrong with my swatching. Turns out it, it was me. <laughs> it was that base though, making it all wonky looking. If I could just quit messing with it. I saw I did another coat of the white and this blue one here. And you know, the blue one, like I said, you could go in for a third coat depending, you know, on preference. So, there we go. And I will be curing these under my LED lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, I am back and they are all, you know, painted and top coated. Now, I did do a second coat on the white and a second coat of the blue. Um, the rest of them are all one coaters for me and they have top coat on them now out of this collection uh, That blue is really talking to me and this one right here love 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 it. So enough of that. So now on to the uh, the blue blood set it has got ultraviolet rose gold bronze Dreamy Silver again, so I'm not going to swatch this one for a second time. I've already swatched it. It's the same color. And then Mirandi Nude and Lucia Red and Black Gold. So I'm going to get the caps off of these and swatch them just like I did the other one. I'm going to turn on some music and let it rock. I'll be right back. Okay, I fibbed about just turning on the music and being quiet. Now we're going to swatch the Blue Blood Collection. And this one here is Ultraviolet. I mean, you guys know me, I'm going to have some tunes going in the back anyway, just in case I quit talking or get so, you know, amazed by the polishes that I, I forget to talk. But there is one coat of ultraviolet. And here is the rose gold. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness, it's so, so gorgeous. Excellent formula too, by the way. My camera's trying to act a little fuzzy. And then here we go. We're going to go in with this next color. And it's called Bronze. And I'm just going to be straight up honest. You guys know I'm honest. Buy it. Get it for review. Whatever. I'm honest about it. This one's my least favorite. And that's okay. I still think it's it has a place in this set though. Because you need options. And you know. That would probably look beautiful with some nail art over it. It's just not talking to me. Next, we have Mirandi Nude. And this one is just 
I can just see all sorts of nail art going on over this. It's a very, very delicate looking, pretty color. And I'm saying that this next one is called Lucia Red. It might be Lucia. I don't know. But I'm calling it Lucia Red because that's just how I go. This red has more of a berry tone to it as the other one had more of an orangey tone to the red. This one's more berry red to me. Beautiful polish though. And coming up next is to me one of the showstoppers and of course I'm out of frame. I will get it together here in a second. There we go. This is called black gold and it's green gold black with I don't know if that's hollow in there, but I'm telling you, this one's gorgeous. I'll be showing a swatch photo here in a little bit. Um, and now we're going to go in with another coat on the ultraviolet. And then another coat on the Lucia Red. And these are the only two that I'm adding extra coats to. The other ones are all going to go down as one coaters for me. Okay, and here we go. We've got all of the colors, except for the silver, because like I said, I've already done the silver over here. But these are the colors from the Blue, Bud, Blue Blood collection. And <laughs> I like all of these colors from both collections. I think that if you're just starting out your gel polish collection, that this is a great option because you get a nice range of colors. You know, some you've got a couple of nudes in here that are perfect for, you know, all sorts of you know sophisticated events or downplay or whatever you know but then you've got some brights in here that just scream hey it's summer and then you got these beautiful reds and you've got the silver and the rose gold and the black and the white you got your basics so overall I'm just stoked with this plus that's a no wipe top coat these are all just smooth as glass so I told you I had two favorites on the last set this one I know y'all are thinking this purple one, and I do love it, but my favorites are this rose gold and this black tea. I think that's what it was called. That is just beautiful. Loving it. So, um, if you've held in with me this long and gotten to the end of the video, I have a surprise. Since I, I got two of these... I figured if, you know, what am I going to, I don't need two silvers. So since I got two of the dreamy silvers, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. So here's the deal. Um, just let me know. Uh, I'm going to do a drawing on this because I want to keep this very fair. I don't want it to be the first person or anything. So let me know if you're interested in this uh, silver polish from Models Ones, Model Ones. And, um, and I'll do a little drawing for it. You have to be in the United States. I'm sorry, but I can't ship polish out of the United States. So um, if you live in the United States and you would like a chance to win this one, just you know, leave me a comment down below letting me know that you would like to you know, get in on this. So I will leave information down below for you to go check out Model Ones on Amazon. You can Google it. You can just hop on there. I have no affiliate with them. I'm not, you know, I'm not in with them or anything. So um, this is just a review and a share, show and tell. So that is it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.